Let's do some more Ozzy. A little Over the Mountain from Diver Madman album. Freaking great song. I think you'll like it. Cool rhythm stuff, some tricky string skipping, some cool pull-off runs. I'm going to teach you all the way up to the very first part of the solo. And then uh, we'll finish the solo in another lesson. It'll be too long for one video. So, tune down a half step. Let's get to it. All right, so remember, we're tuned down a half step. Now we're going to go E, A, G sharp. <laughs> So, you're just doing power chords. Totally basic. You got it. That typical E chord we always use. Then you're gonna go to just the fifth and seventh fret A, fourth and sixth fret, which is G sharp. So we got. And then you're just gonna pedal. You can hit both these strings, the four and the six on the E and the A, or you can just hit the top string. So we got, I'll slow it down. Same pattern twice on the, uh, and then do two more. And on the last one, we got. All that is, is you're gonna do an octave run you're gonna be on the fourth fret G string, seventh fret E string, not gonna play the B string. So you got, right? Or you can do it up on, uh, on the D string and the um, 12th fret of the B string. And then just go down, whatever, one one uh, fret, whatever works for you. So we got, or same notes. That gets us into the verse, which is just gonna go straight to the G sharp. And then that's just going to be that four and six of the A and the D string. So we got. Now all that riff is, is we're going to go four to seven on the low E string. Now you're going to go six on the A string. D string, fourth fret. And then you're going to go to the fourth fret and the fourth fret of the G and the B. To the fifth fret on the B, and then you're gonna slide up a whole step. So you got that kind of D looking shape. So we got. All right, so we got. Do a little palm muting on there. Right? Same thing. It's going to do that four times. On the fourth time, it's going to do this same riff. But instead of going to four to five, you're going to pull off on that fifth fret B string. And then slide out. So it's... And then that gets you into the chorus, which is just an E. Full rock, so you got second fret A, second fret D, and then you're gonna slide up to the fourth fret A, fourth fret D. So we got. That's just second fret, first fret on the A string, back to E. Okay, so the only difference there is it's just like the beginning, but instead of just pedaling on that one, you're going to hammer on, so it's going to go. Right before that little octave run, there's just a little, little pick slide. 
know, it's full 80s. You got to do it. So anyway. that gets you back into the verse again. So the next time we're going to do uh, the second verse. It's going to be the same for the first two, you know, sequences of the verse. The first two lyric lines. So we got... This is going to go. So we got. So what you're doing is you're hitting this fourth fret on the E string, and then you're going to go down here and you're going to catch the seventh fret on the B and the E string. So it's. I just did it over and over a couple of times so you get the you get the feel for it. Okay, so it's gonna do here's what the whole sequence is gonna sound like. That. So it's the same little riff. And on the second time it's and then it's back into the chorus. So all together we got Back into the chorus. 